All right, so there comes a time when very occasionally a new piece of tech gets released that's marketed as the world's first. This is one of those times. So I'm pretty excited to introduce this new product. This is the Soullink Glass Mocap X. This is referred to as the world's first motion glasses for FPS gaming. And I'm gonna be testing this out with some games on my phone, but this is also compatible with games that you can play on your PC, on your laptop, on your projector screen, on your TVs, and even you can play it with some gaming consoles like the Steam Deck. And I'm not too sure about gaming consoles at the moment with like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox One and those kind of consoles, but nonetheless, I'm gonna be showcasing that with my iPhone 14 Pro Max today, just to give you an idea of how this works. This is pretty much a game changer. And because it is the first in this category, where it can go from here in its next iterations, there's no limits. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out, but just note as a caveat, I have been sent this as a pre-release model before it actually gets released to the public. So when you do get the final production version, it might include some different accessories in the box. Maybe the functionality might be adjusted, but overall I'm gonna showcase what its capabilities are. So let's start with the unboxing and let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's open this up. Now this is the case that the glasses come in. So before we dive into that, let's just see what else we have inside here. So we have a microfiber cleaning cloth for your lenses on the glasses. And we have a user guide and a warranty card. Now I do recommend reading the user guide the first time you get it because this is a new piece of tech and because not many people have used this type of products before. It's always recommended to learn how to use it because if you try to do it without reading the information, then you may get confused and it might not work the first time you go ahead. But there's also a Soul Link app that you can download as a complimentary thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and showcase how this works directly by just playing a game on my phone and linking it via Bluetooth. And then you have your USB-C charging cable for the actual case. And if you want to charge the glasses directly, then you have this connector for the glasses themselves to charge it up. Now you have a little USB dongle that also comes in the box. Based on the user guide, I believe this is for debugging if you have any problems with your Android phone specifically. So if you do find problems connecting to the Soul Link glasses, then you may need to debug it and you can follow the instructions in the user guide on how to do that by using this. And this will be done via the Soul Link app as well to help you resolve any issues. And this is the case that the glasses come in. There's a little button just on the left hand side. This will allow you to charge up the glasses if you do press that. And on the right hand side, you have yourself the USB-C port to charge it up. In terms of charging and battery life, this can give you up to maximum around 10 hours of battery life. That's really good because if you are going to be doing a lot of gaming for long periods of time, then you can be sure that this will give you the maximum amount of usage that you need to across one or even multiple days. If you do have it on standby, the standby time on this is actually three months. So that's really good there. But just to show you a snapshot of the specs, you can take a look at the screenshot on your screen right now. And do pause the video if you want to read a little bit more into this. But you can see there's also a range of up to 10 meters. So that is going to be very good if you do want to connect this to maybe your TV and you do sit quite a distance away when you're playing the games. So let's open up. And as you can see, these are the glasses. They are clear. So you have the frames there, you got Soul Link on that side. This was the charging port for the cable that you saw in the box if you want to charge the glasses directly. On the inside of the right frame it says move with your nature and on the inside of the left frame it said designed by Soul Link in China. Now it's a basic design of the glasses but what I don't want people to think is that these are VR glasses in any way. So when you do use this you will not see anything on these lenses. Everything is done on your phone and I'll explain how it works in a second. On the right hand side frame, this is where you have the power button to turn it on. You just hold it down for a few seconds. It will go into Bluetooth pairing mode. The first time you do it, it will just flash and then it will give you a white light once it is connected. The next time you do turn it on, it will automatically be connected directly. And you just need to place it on the desk once it does maintain that connection. And then it will go green on that light there. Now there's another box that also came with my package. Now these are dark lenses, so you can actually change lenses to different types that you can find maybe selling on their website as well as part of the accessories. But these are easily removable 
and interchangeable. So if you are the type of person that does wear existing glasses, then you can actually buy a set of lenses that are specifically degree lenses to match your eyesight. Now let me show you how easy it is to replace. These are actually just magnetic. So they pull off very easily. They clip on like that and they clip off. So if I bring these other ones, there you go. It's just takes about a second to do that. So there's no fiddling about, there's no screws, and it is a very strong magnet. So now that you've seen everything in the box and the design of this, let's go ahead, set it up, and I'll showcase you guys how it works. Okay, first time setup and connection is very easy. You go ahead and turn on the glasses by just holding down the button. Once it lights up white, you'll go into pairing, it will flash green. If I've already paired it, then you just need to place it on the table. And then once it goes blue, that means the connection is automatically paired and you are now connected. Now, before you go ahead and connect this to a game and start playing with it, there's just one more other step that you need to follow, which is also mentioned in the user guide. If you go into settings, scroll down to accessibility, where it says touch, select this. At the top, you see the option for assistive touch. You need to turn this one on. So you toggle that on. And then right in the middle of the screen, just there towards the bottom, you'll see there's a little cursor, a dot. That's going to be what is connected to the Soul Link glass and is going to be used so you can control the motion in your FPS games. There's also one more thing. If you scroll down, where it says tracking sensitivity, I would recommend to keep that bar at the lowest, but you can make adjustments accordingly to you know whatever device that you're playing the games on, whether it's a very large screen or it's just your phone. I recommend if you are going to use this for your phone, keep it down on the minimum because it's going to track the movements of your head. And because your phone screen is not that large, it's going to move around too much and it might become a bit of a pain to actually play that game. So now that you have everything there, we should be ready to now jump in and connect to a game and then use this to start playing an FPS shooter. Okay, so let's get started. Now, before I load up a game, you can actually see that little cursor on the screen it's moving around with the movements of my head. That's where the concept of the motion glass comes in. So let's go ahead and I want to play Call of Duty Mobile and showcase that with that. This is just one example of the games that you can play it with, but there's many other games that you can try as long as they are FPS games. So you can do like PUBG, you can do Knives Out, T3 Arena, and there's plenty of more options that you can try this with. Okay, so to make sure this works with whichever game you're playing, you need to go into settings go into basic and this is just for Call of Duty but of course every game will have their own settings so you'll need to find this specifically and this is also the case if you're using Android or iPhone or any other device like your laptop for example you'll need to find the accessibility options and set this up accordingly if you see this option just here on the right hand side where it says fixed joystick this has to be set to on that is what is going to use the motion from the little cursor and fix it on the screen so you can just use your head movements to actually do proper aiming during the FPS. So now that's set, you can go ahead and play a game. So let me go ahead and just do a practice session. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to start enabling this with my motion and movement by just single tapping the button on the right side. Now you can see as I'm moving my head, this is actually moving the screen and this is where the sensitivity option in the settings makes a big difference. So I've got it on the lowest. So now what I've done is eliminated the need for me to use my thumb to manually aim on the right hand side of the screen and focus more on shooting and then just use my left thumb to actually move my position. So you... this is really, really cool. I don't even need to make that many head movements to be able to aim. All I need to do is just look in that general direction. This is really cool. And if you see, look, if I look up and look down, left, right, this is really good. And if you just wanna make manual adjustments, of course, you can still use your right thumb to reposition your aim. But this is so convenient as well and it will really help you in your games 
and give you that advantage over other players just because now you have an additional set of controls that you can use to things that you would need to basically switch between. I find it a little bit difficult when I need to aim and shoot using the same thumb on the right hand side of the screen for FPS games on your phone for this. So now I've just basically eliminated the need to do one of those things with my head movements and with these glasses, which makes gaming a lot more smoother and more responsive in my opinion. And this is actually working very well. Super excited with this and I actually didn't expect it to work just as well as this. Now, of course, I'm playing it with my phone, but if you just imagine what it would be like to scale up and then take this onto like a gaming console, onto your TV, or even a large projector screen, the screen size doesn't make a difference. As long as you have the Soullink software and accessibility options to link these glasses to, this is going to be a very big game changer, especially in the gaming industry when you do have FPS games like this, like Call of Duty, for example. And, you know, I've seen people that do play Call of Duty, they go and buy additional controllers that have paddles on the back, like the scuff controllers, for example, just so that they can eliminate the need to use your same set of fingers to do two or three different things. And you kind of spread that out. And this is what these glasses are doing. So I'm really impressed with the way these are working. And that's basically how it works. You know, I'm super impressed with how fluid and responsive this is. The fact that I don't need to set up with anything else other than my Bluetooth, going into accessibility options and just setting it inside a game. No additional need for a separate dongle, no messing about with a lot of settings or anything like that. It's kind of like out of the box plug and play. And that's one of the things that I really like about this. Now these are a game changer and it's going to bring human and machine integration to a whole new level. When it comes to gaming, you know, I think if you are going to wear this for long periods of time, because it does have a 10 hour battery life, if you're gonna game all day long, these are going to be very comfortable because they're very lightweight at 40 grams. The material on this is very well, nicely designed, and I don't feel like they would be too uncomfortable where I would need to take them off after an hour, for example. The fact that this is the first of its kind, I'm really excited to see where the next iterations in the future will go with this type of technology. If you're a gamer, then I think you should be really excited with the capabilities of this. Imagine pairing this with a controller, which does have paddles on the back, and now you eliminate another need for aiming by just using motion-based tracking with these glasses. This is going to take your gaming to a very new level. I think if you do look at a lot of new VR headsets that do come out, and a lot of them are coming out now where you can actually just use your hands for motion-based gaming, that is where the future is and this is a step in the right direction. As always, take a look at the link in the description to find out the latest pricing information, to read all of the specs, the capabilities, the compatibility list, all of those kind of things. And make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming out that I'm gonna be reviewing about all the latest releases, new tech like this, which I know you're gonna like. So make sure to keep an eye out for all of those ones and I will catch you at the next one. Take care.